I'm Josh Fain with Cucker Tech, and today we're getting technical. So, big question is for today's video, does a spring lose its rate? Right here, you got a Humvee spring. Part number on the spring is a 55794473. This part number was superseded roughly in 2001. And based on my vehicle, the truck is a 1986 and it's refurbed somewhere around 2003. So the spring is somewhere around 19 years old at the newest it could be, at the youngest, it's the youngest possible age. So we got a nice season spring that came out of a working truck at one point. So the spring should have fatigue on it. From what I've measured so far on the spring, based on what other people have told me and talking to manufacturers, the spring has done what it's supposed to do. Springs are known to lose their height, not their spring rate. So the height of the spring, about roughly the height on the spring is crushed, has been crushed by half an inch. So it's a half an inch shorter than it was brand new. When they're talking about spring rate, spring rate refers to the compression of the spring. So if the spring is compressed one inch, and we have this on a scale, we should see roughly 954 pounds. And that's what the spring is rated at. Now, with all springs, you have a plus or minus 5% tolerance. So we should see somewhere between 906 pounds on a scale to roughly 1,001 on the scale. And the spring would be considered within tolerance. And the spring is fine. But let's test it and find out. And I'm gonna show you how to do that today um, using kind of my own homemade testing device. And also too, don't try this at home. This can be very dangerous if you something goes wrong. All right. All right, so now we're over here at the spring tester that I got set up. So I got a digital race scale down here. Spring here, of course, I'm just using a standard press that you can get at Harbor Freight or any of those big, like, any of those big suppliers. All right, so what we're gonna do to get the spring set up properly as best we can, just a reminder, this can be dangerous, so please don't do this at home. Set the block up and get it up with a ram. Then what we're gonna do is take the slack out as much as we can, maybe just a little bit of wiggle. Step is we're going to zero the scale out. All right, the scale has been zeroed out. We're going to take our measurement before we start compressing it. Sitting at roughly 12 and 3 eighths. So we're going to take it down to 11 and 3 eighths. measurement okay we're at 919 pounds so the minimal spec for the spring would be 906 and a maximum spec would be 1001 so I'll try to do this as smooth as possible So 
So as you can see, we're at 918 pounds. So our spring's in spec. So we got a good working spring, nothing's wrong with it. And there you have it. That's how you test a spring. That's how you can check to see if it's in tolerance. Like the other big deciding factor is watching out when playing with springs is one that can be dangerous. And also two, watch for your spring height. Springs lose their height, not their rate. I'm Josh Freeman with Cooker Tech, and we're getting technical. Have a good day.